Welcome back to our small town spotlight series. We are in La Union and as you can see here, we are at La Vina Winery. We're giving you a behind the scenes look. You can see all these barrels of wine behind us, but I'm also hearing Andy here in La Union when it's not so hot outside, maybe mm -hmm. on nights like tonight where it's overcast, it's nice to go outside in your backyard and maybe have a beer. That's right. And that's exactly what the owner of Highway 28 Brewery, the whole idea behind his business is exactly that. Just sitting out on the backyard, having a brew. Take a look. Obviously, I, I like craft beer. 15 years ago, there was just Jackson's and High Desert. You know, so what causes you to, to think about opening a brewery? I really like to sit around in the backyard and drink beer. So I spent, you know, I looked far and wide to find other people that like to sit in the backyard and drink beer and found these guys. So uh, we're like, let's make a backyard big enough for all of us. Literally, you're crushing grain. Uh, you pick your, your, your malts to, for your grain, your, your grain bill. You're gonna have your, uh, your mash. So you're gonna mix your hot water with that grain, very specific temperatures, very specific times. Uh, that all kind of happens between these two kettles. That's our hot liquor tank. This is our mash tun. Um, and then we transfer that on over to our boil kettle. That's where you add your hops. You boil it for about an hour or so. Um, when we're done with that, we transfer it over to our fermenters. That process takes, you know, about a couple weeks, uh, let's say, you know, from, from start to finish, depending on what you're doing. These are nice tanks. They allow us to, to pressurize and carbonate our beer inside those tanks. So we ferment in those tanks, we carbonate in those tanks, and then we basically out of this port right here, we keg up those beers into these guys right here, and then we send them to that cooler over there. Um, you're drinking really fresh beer at a craft brewery. That's one of the one of the, the greatest parts of, of craft beer is you're, you're getting to drink really great fresh beer. Slowly tilt, mostly just the head. So you get that nice head on top there. Okay, it's pretty good pour. So this is our La Carga IPA. It's our staple IPA here at uh, 28 Brewery. And it's a West Coast as well. We're very encouraged, uh, humbled by the, you know, the reception of the, you know, primarily the, the locals, uh, great folks. The, and then as Mark talked about the travelers uh, up and down between El Paso and Las Cruces stop in. It's amazing how many people were just driving by and said, hey, you know, it's a brewery. Absolutely love seeing that process, yeah. and it is a process. Right, making wine, making mm -hmm. beer, it is a, uh, it is hard work, no right? No doubt about that. And our Monica Cortez, she is with John Bruker, and Monica, tell us what he has to say, Monica. Hey, Natasha and Andy, that's right, I am with John Bruker. You are the owner of the brewery, and you know what, John, you were telling me how incredible your place is. Guys, I've learned so much. So, just to show you, this is the, how do you call it? The, that is a glass jug, Monica. <laughs> uh, a growler, Public growler. House 28 growler. You you buy the the jug and have it filled there at the brewery and take it home with you. It is so awesome. So you were telling me that you're the only real beer garden in our region, which I think is fantastic. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, our whole plan was to be an outdoor space, uh, community green space, uh, and we're in a half acre uh, backyard garden basically for the community. That is incredible. Okay, so if I'm going to your brewery, what should I get? You should get a flight of your favorites, uh, but the Mr. G is a Blondale that is a big seller and the La Carga West Coast IPA are the two most popular probably. Oh, incredible. And one more thing, guys, just to tell you, you said you have some exciting news that involves La Vina. Uh, well, we are here at La Vina today, and we're uh, thankful that they've hosted us. And there are six other wineries on public, uh, I mean, on Highway 28. Uh, we are going to have our own label wine here shortly, um, hopefully within the next few weeks. Wow, that's exciting news. Well, congratulations. Guys, don't go anywhere. We have a lot more to share with you right after this break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 